Howdy guys, Andy Pixel here. And what I wanted to do was cover a request that I got from one of the YouTube subscribers. And that is, how do we actually use a file node inside of Houdini? And it kind of got me thinking, it'd be kind of cool to actually show everyone, you know, just how many ways there are to actually export stuff from Houdini. There's multiple ways as there is inside of Houdini. There's so many ways to skin a cat. So what I wanted to do first was at least cover the file node. So the first thing that you can do is you can hit tab on the keyboard and just drop down a file node. Now, this is actually a geometry node, but what they've done is they've made it so it automatically populates it with the file node. So what you can do is you can go and drop down some geometry or whatever geometry you have coming out of whatever network you've made. Um, in this case, I'm just going to set up a sphere here. All right, and you can come in here and we can go and set this to write files. But what I want to do is just set it to no operation right now because I don't want to overwrite the default BGO. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to set it to no operation first, like so. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to set this to, or I'm going to export it here. So we're just going to call this sphere 01. And you can actually give it any sort of extension you want. So if I did something like OBJ, like that, all right, what it's going to do is it's going to export it to OBJ for me. So uh, now all I need to do is hit write files and that automatically does it. So anytime I change, you know, um, a parameter in here, it's automatically writing it because I have this set to write files. All right. And so we can actually prove that because we can now use a file node to actually import that same sphere. All right. So let's just go and get that. And there you go. We have the same exact sphere. All right. And so if I were to actually move this guy down like so, all right, and come back over here and reload that geometry and then come back over here and reload. There we go. Look at that. Cool. All right. So that's one way that we can uh, save out geometry and we can do it, you know, real time just by having this file node turned on. All right. So there's actually uh, quite a few other ways to get geometry out. So let's create a box over here. All right, and I'm just going to leave it at its defaults because we don't really need to change it. And let's put down something like a geometry output. Look at that. So there's this node called a drop geometry output. All right. And what we can do with this is export again to a mesh of any type, really, as long as you, you can type in whatever file extension you want there. All right. And what I can do is I can I can provide it a SOP path, or you can just feed this in directly. You can see now it's filled in with that OBJ file box 01. Um, but let's do the, the SOP way because, you know, that's pretty much just like what we did the file node. Let's look at, you know, a little bit more advanced way of doing this. So it's looking for a SOP path. This box node is a SOP. Okay. So all we need to do is go and get it like so. Ta-da. And we can actually uh, remove all this stuff. All right, so if you want a relative link, you can just put in dot dot forward slash and we get the box. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to now export it. All right. To a folder. So let's just do this. This is pretty cool. Let's call this um, my box and then forward slash. And we'll do uh, box 01.obj. All right. Now, if you have... Um, Houdini Indie or Core or Effects, you can export to FBX, but if you're using Apprentice, then uh, we need to do OBJ. Or you can also do uh, BGO, which is a Houdini format, or you can do Geo, which is also a Houdini format. So what I'm going to do is OBJ. And with that done, I can literally just hit the Save to Disk button. And let's get our file node again. So we can import it. All right. And let's go up one and you can see it made this folder called my box and there's my box. Ta-da. Cool. All right. So that's the ROP geometry. All right. So again, if you have uh, Houdini Indie or core or effects, you can always do the ROP FBX output. Basically is the same thing as this ROP geometry. I could literally actually use the ROP geometry node as well and just do FBX and that would still work. Uh, this one just gives you control over the FX exports. All right. So you can go in here and you can actually set it to, you know, the different uh, DCC packages. You can pick a different SDK. All right. You can turn on and off all these different features. All right. So that's the uh, FBX. And so the last thing I really wanted to cover in this video, I wanted to keep it short because really the, 
these are the ones that I use the most um, because I'm dealing a, a lot in geometry. But uh, when you want to work in with images inside of Houdini, uh, that's when we start working with composites. So if I were to drop down a composite node over here, I'll, I think I, yeah, there we go. So a composite, a COP2 network. All right. So I'm at the object level. So I'm going to drop down a COP2 network. And inside of here, what I want to do is uh, create a noise node, just so I have something to export. All right, and I'm going to turn off this noise per component and come in here and just set this to something like 512 or 512. All right, and what we want to do is we want to export this as a texture, right? Uh, because currently, if I were to show this, so I need to go in here and actually pick it out of the, or I need to display it in the uh, composite view over here. There's my texture. Cool. Uh, what I want to do is uh, throw down a ROP, or an output image, a ROP file output. That's what it is. All right. And you can feed in the, the result there. Again, you could always just point it to a particular cop right here. So if I were to unplug this, you can see that we can just go and get the result from noise, like so. Or you can just wire it in too, like so. All right, so then what I can do is I can render this out. Now, the plane scope is actually very important um, because what this is saying is we're going to export the color and we're going to export the alpha. But you can also just remove one of these and just export color or keep it there and you have both. So now we have color and alpha. All right. So with that, uh, last thing all we really need to do is I'm just going to render the current frame. I don't need to render a bunch of images here. And I want to send it into a render folder, and we're going to call this um, noise.jpg. Like so, and what it's going to do is it's going to try to figure out the format's color space and all of its settings and stuff. Houdini's pretty awesome that way. It actually tries to figure it all out for you. All right, so with that, all I need to do is hit render. What's going to happen is a little composite view thing is going to come up here and it's going to tell me that it's rendering and actually it went so fast it didn't even pop up. So uh, what I can do now is um, drop down a file node in here. All right. And we can actually go and get our noise. So let's go to our hip and let's go to render. There's our noise JPEG. And look at that. Same exact thing. So that is a couple ways to get data out of Houdini. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys there. Thanks so much.